School-related crime has one New Orleans neighborhood begging the school board for help. And New Orleans' next archbishop prepares for his big day. I'm Lynn Ganser. Six News Tonight is next. WTSU 6 New Orleans. And now, 6 News Tonight with Terry Wood, Lynn Ganser, Buddy D with sports, and meteorologist Dan Milhan. Good evening, Terry has the night off. The escalating violence surrounding our city's schoolyards is spilling over into nearby neighborhoods, forcing New Orleans police to form a special unit to deal with those crimes. But the people who live in an East New Orleans neighborhood say that police task force isn't enough to solve the crime they live with every day. Tonight, Logan Banks tells us about a neighborhood association that's demanding a meeting with police and school officials to battle the crimes connected with Sarah Reed High School. One of the flashpoints of school-related violence in Orleans Parish is the Sarah T. Reed School in East New Orleans. People who live in nearby Village de l'Est say the crime spilling out of the school is threatening their neighborhood. We've got drive-by shootings. We've had uh, knifings, rapes at the school. But that's a claim students at Reed High say is unfair. They blame gangs and drug pushers who hang out around the school for the violence. Reed is not a bad school. They got good boys over there. What about Culver, Kennedy, Graps, Nichols, all the rest of the schools? Why y'all always, why y'all always pitching the negative things about Reed? Reed is not a bad school. I don't think is is people exactly who go to the school, but people come around here to maybe to pick up people who go to the school or their friends or whatever they have them come over there, and I think that's a problem. Police Chief Warren Woodfork refuses to address the issue until he meets with the Village de Less Improvement Association Wednesday. However, the chief says these officers form a special unit called PALS, short for Police Assistance Liaison Schools Program. Woodfork says it will improve security in Arlene's Parish schools. A lot of the problems that we have today as it pertains to drug trafficking and, and the abuse of drugs, unfortunately, a lot of our young people are involved. And I think that if, if, if this particular program can go a long way, then we're assuring ourselves that the future generations uh, come out of public schools are going to be the kind of young people that we all can be proud of. It's been reported to us, at least by the police department, that there is a problem in that area with drugs. Uh, you know, whenever there's a problem with drugs, even if it's in the community, it invariably spills over into the school. Logan Banks, 6 News Tonight. The Orleans Parish School Board is looking at another plan to keep kids learning and out of trouble. The board tonight received a proposal to have year-round classes at five New Orleans schools. The youngsters would get the same amount of time off, but their vacations would come in three-week stretches once each quarter. The board is considering the plan for schools around the Desire and Florida housing projects. Residents in one mid-city neighborhood have scored a victory in their effort to rid their community of drug dealers and their customers. This vacant house at 2816 Dumaine is no longer a haven for the crack and cocaine users. You may recall last week, investigative reporter Richard Angelico took us through the house with its drug paraphernalia left behind by the drug abusers. Neighbors in this mid-city area had complained and asked Angelico for help in running the dealers out. Last Thursday, the health department ordered the owner to clean up the yard and board up the house. This morning, those orders were carried out. The city, meanwhile, is trying to come up with a way to deal with its growing problem of abandoned buildings. There are about 4,000 vacant structures in various stages of decay in New Orleans. According to city officials, once the property is vandalized, it's usually taken over by drug addicts, thugs, or street people. The city says it's often powerless to deal with the problem because of the difficulty in tracking property owners. The city is looking for ways it can obtain the property and demolish the hazardous abandoned buildings. David Duke, the controversial former Ku Klux Klan leader who is running for state representative in Metairie, has now received an endorsement from a Klan group in Spokane, Washington. The group's telephone hotline contains a pitch for support and contributions on Duke's behalf. The pre-recorded message says Duke's strong showing in the primary was, quote, a victory for the white racist movement. Duke says he did not seek the endorsement and renounces it. I don't want their money. I'm not asking for their money. And uh, this, is, this is our race here, and that's what I'm trying to fight. Our, our did principles. you know that we're going to have that telephone message no, asking I, people? No speak? idea whatsoever. Are you getting money from around the country? That. Are you getting contributions? I'm getting some small contributions from around America, yes, sir. 
Meanwhile, Jefferson Parish President Mike Yenny says Duke's election would be bad for economic development in Jefferson. But Duke says he would bring jobs to the parish. Archbishop Philip Hannon hosted a private reception tonight for the man who takes over tomorrow as leader of the New Orleans Archdiocese. At St. Louis Cathedral, stand-ins were rehearsing the ceremony that will officially install Francis Bible Schulte. The Archbishop designate had time for just a few minutes in front of cameras today. He told Alec Gifford he wants to spend half of his time in parishes around the Archdiocese, and he focused on his plans for his ministry. I need to be, for them, a teacher. Uh, I need to be uh, their leader in prayer, in a certain sense, a high priest, and I also need to be their pastor, their shepherd. And, and to do all three, especially to be their pastor, uh, I can spend a lot of time in this building across here, but I have to be out where my people are through this, the eight parishes that are the diocese. The historic ceremony begins tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. and we'll take you live to St. Louis Cathedral to share in the event. We'll have coverage of other parts of the new Archbishop's Day on our newscast and we'll wrap it up with a special half-hour program tomorrow night at 10.30. Still ahead, did Reagan really know about the Iran-Contra deal? President Bush continues to push his trillion-dollar budget. Plus, is too much stress ruining your relationships? Find out in our life planning segment when we come back. Thinking of a Civic? Buy a Hyundai Excel, save over $2,100. Thinking Corolla? Buy an Excel, save over $2,400. Considering a Sentra? Buy an Excel, save $2,600. Plus, if you buy an Excel right now, you can save up to $600 more. Could be that down payment. So add it up. America's best-selling import loaded with over 80 standard features. Price like never before. Savings on top of savings, and it's all going on right now at your Hyundai dealer. But you've got to hurry in, because savings on savings ends soon. My wife says, the way you take care of that car, it'll outlast you. That's her way of saying, I hadn't seen a doctor in years. Have you? So I call Oxner Clinic. They've got a complete health care program just for men. You can make all your appointments with one phone call, even on Saturday mornings or after work. More than 200 doctors, the latest technology, and a reputation for quality. Can't beat that. Oxner Men's Health Services. Health care like no other in the world. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. yum, 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 yum. Now at McDonald's, get a hamburger, small fries, and small Coke for only 99 cents. Good time, great taste. Yum's the word. At McDonald's. This Eckerd nasal spray works as well as this national brand. Because like all Eckerd brand products, it's formulated to national brand standards and guaranteed. Eckerd brand. Tested. Retested. Guaranteed. This winter, rely on Eckerd brand. Eckerd nighttime cold medicine is just $189. Compare our quality to NyQuil. Eckerd Brom Tap 12-hour tablets are just $299. Compare to Dimatap. One store brand is better. Eckerd. Ronald Reagan today found himself in the middle of the legal battles surrounding the trial of Oliver North. In court documents filed today, North singles out for blame Reagan and at least five other administration officials. He says they secretly arranged favors for foreign nations who would help the Nicaraguan Contras at a time when Congress prohibited U.S. aid. Former Senate investigator Arthur Lyman confirms some of North's contentions. Uh, there was an effort in the White House uh, to obtain secret contributions from third countries and to keep those contributions secret from the Congress. North's lawyer said a proposed deal on keeping certain secrets out of the trial would prevent him from introducing this evidence, which he calls central to North's defense. A judge will rule on the matter tomorrow. President Bush has begun gathering public support for his 1990 federal budget in the same state that revived his campaign for the presidency one year earlier. The president stopped off in New Hampshire, telling a crowd of 1,200 businessmen he will remain committed to the idea of no new taxes. However, New Hampshire Senator Warren Rudman, who hitched a ride back to Washington with Bush on Air Force One, said, quote, no promises forever. He predicted a tax increase of some form might be needed next year. 
President Bush was also on hand for the swearing in of the country's new Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Former New, new York Congressman Jack Kemp pledged to help lead what he calls an all-out public and private effort to help end the appalling tragedy of homelessness. If your relationship is in trouble, one of the causes might be too much stress. In tonight's life planning report, Beverly Carr talks to an expert who says you can relax if you work on it. I think the, the place to begin is to realize that stress is a state of mind. People have favorite ways of being in the world, being perfect, trying hard, pleasing people. And none of them work. Stress. We've all experienced it at one time or another, on the job, at home, in social situations. Not dealing with it can take a toll on relationships, and worse, it can kill you. I think the vast majority of physical illness comes from that. For instance, if you stress yourself out and, and over a long period of time, uh, your body's bound to break out. Maybe some of the breakdown, maybe some of the earliest signs are catching a lot of colds or the flu. Another early sign of stress is physical tension. It usually happens when you're late for an appointment or running to catch a plane or before a big meeting with the boss. First of all, relax. Yelling at yourself won't help. Accept the situation and try to make the best of it. If you say, yes, you are late and we'll do the best we can when we get there, just take it easy and enjoy the trip there. You can stay relaxed and take care of whatever the difficulty is when you get there. With all of life's little surprises, your best bet is to get rid of the excess emotional baggage called stress. Realize whatever is going to happen will happen. Accept it and relax. You'll live longer and happier. Beverly Carr, 6 News Tonight. Tomorrow night, how giving of yourself helps everyone. One woman won her battle with shyness through volunteering. And don't forget to pick up your life planning test at any Winn-Dixie or K&B drugstore. Dan's up next with a look at Valentine's Day forecast. One thing we can expect for sure, love will be in the air. And if you thought you had too many sweethearts on your Valentine's list, wait till you hear how our Far East friends celebrate the Lover's Day. Make way for the New Orleans Boat Show, a sea of new boats on sale at special show prices. Plus, Star Power Services introduces Yanmar's new revolutionary diesel outboard motors. Star Power will also feature the first truly portable air-cooled diesel generator from Yanmar. And Star Power Services carries marine industrial generators and Yanmar propulsion units up to 140 horsepower. Gas is out and diesel is in at Star Power Services. The NMMA New Orleans Boat Show in the Superdome, February 11th through the 19th. Have you ever had one of those wonderful days when everything seems to turn into a tasty donut? Or a meal of tasty castle burgers? Well, turn into a tasty donut shop today. And while you're there, discover Tasty's new seafood goodies. Tasty scrumptious fish sandwich, yummy shrimp and crab meat patty sandwich, and Tasty's thick and pleasing seafood gumbo. Make a meal of them, mates, and save a Coke sandwich and cup of gumbo just $2.79. It's always tasty time. Always. So your car. <gasps> This is Del Champs Central Nervous System. Del Champs Giant Distribution Center in Hammond, Louisiana. When it comes to variety, Del Champs thinks big. So when you shop at any one of their over 100 superstores, you're going to find just about everything you could possibly want, including your favorite national brands. At everyday minimum pricing, 24 hours every day. Del Champs, the place to save seriously. The car world zeroes in on New Orleans and the 1989 International Auto Show and Sale. 400 cars and trucks on sale at the lowest prices of the year at the New Orleans Convention Center, February 17 to 19. You know, our weather is really weird. Mm, weather itself is weird. I think you know, <laughs> there are probably many places in the country, and I know every, every city's like that. When, you know, when I go to conventions and meetings, people in, in any city, they say, oh, are you guys all the weathermen, you know, meetings? They say, boy, don't we have weird weather here? Well, you know, one week ago tonight, it was freezing. Exactly. It was Lundi Gras. You and I were standing on the river walk, freezing our mm -hmm. toes off. Catching colds, getting right. ready for a cold Mardi Gras. Yeah, and now and it's then, hot and humid. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 
If you don't like Go the weather, figure. stick around a minute, right? <laughs> Take a look at this time lapse of satellite imagery showing you the clouds over North America. You can see areas of bright white clouds. Those are the higher, thicker clouds where uh, precipitation of some kind is more likely to be found. But as I start the time lapse, I want you to notice the motion of these clouds from Mexico across Texas and the Mississippi River Valley. You can see in the white clouds the movement from southwest to northeast. Again, from last night to tonight, there is that upper wind again blowing in even more warm, humid air from the southwest to the northeast, overlaying the warm, humid air blowing in on the southerly wind at the surface. And as a result, we have temperatures that look a little bit like we're in the middle of summer instead of winter. The highs and lows today with an average of 47 and 64 for this time of year. The actuals, well, the morning lows in the 50s, the afternoon highs in 70s, and in a couple of places in the 80s today. Very near a record at Audubon. 82 is the record, 80 the actual high. At La Plaza, got up to 80. West we go, thanks to Patty Mapes, up to 78. Biloxi, 74. Slidell, 79. In the record books, you want to find the coldest temperature ever recorded for Audubon Park in New Orleans. It's on this date in 1899, got down to 7 degrees. Quite a contrast between that record and today's actuals. Our skies are clear at the airport. They're cloudy in some spots. We have a partly cloudy situation in the region. 68 degrees now at the airport, 67 at Audubon, 67 at the quarter, 65, 67 at Slidell, 65 at the quarter, and at Biloxi. Still a southeast wind. It's not as strong as it was earlier, and still high humidity. We'll have that overnight. Those bright white clouds you saw streaming up from Texas and into the Mississippi River Valley are moving right along with, rather than against, a front. So this cool front that's moved down across the Plain States with colder air behind it is kind of stationary northwest of the state probably be there tomorrow, maybe Wednesday and Thursday. So we're looking like we're going to stay in the warm sector. Uh, the good news being that the likelihood of showers is much greater to the northwest of us along that frontal line. The cold air brings highs in the teens and 20s to the northern plains while we're still looking for 70s and 80s here in the southeast for a couple of days probably. Small craft advisory out boaters, winds over the Gulf south 20 to 25 knots, waves out there 5 to 8 feet. Might be kind of rough on the lakes tomorrow as well. Be very, very cautious. Overnight, our temperature isn't likely to change much. Staying in the mid-60s with a strong south wind expected, even though it's calmed down somewhat tonight. Muggy and mild is the morning expectation. Won't feel like jacket or coat weather at the bus stop tomorrow morning. 70 degrees or so in the morning, up to around 80 again tomorrow afternoon, and maybe a little more cloudiness tomorrow with this constant influx of warm, humid air. And tomorrow evening, the same old, same old. Temperature around 70 and mostly cloudy. Continued mild Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with a slight chance of rain. Better chance maybe Friday night or Saturday as that system to the northwest finally moves through. Tomorrow, comfortable but humid and maybe cloudy and windy too. I'm only giving it an eight. An eight for weird. Yes. <laughs> All right, Dad, thanks. Up next, two of the country's top ten basketball teams went head-to-head -head tonight. And the pro bowlers are flocking to the Crescent City. When we come back, Buddy D will show us how the guys are having a striking good time. Your all-star GMC truck dealers announce 4.9% financing, effective immediately. Get 4.9 financing on all new 1988 and 1989 S15 pickups. Or choose a cash alternative of up to $750 cash back, depending on the S15 pickup you choose. Repeat, 4.9 financing on new 88 and 89 S15 pickups. Or a cash alternative. See your all-star GMC truck dealer, Crown, Superior, Benson, Causeway, John Brown, Canoyer, and Don Harris. <laughs> Get ready to climb on board just about every boat you've been waiting to see. It's the New Orleans Boat Show at the Superdome, February 11th through the 19th. Fishing boats, ski boats, sailboats, and more. Hundreds of boats in all, plus engines, electronics, and accessories, all in one spectacular location. It's the one and only Boat Show at the Superdome. It's the one you don't want to miss. The New Orleans Boat Show, Saturday the 11th through Sunday the 19th at the Superdome. Yeah, Journey to the stars with Martin Marietta and the Louisiana Nature and Science Center as the car world zeroes in on New Orleans and the 1989 auto show and sale. 31 car lines, 400 domestic and import cars and trucks side by side at the lowest prices of the year. 4.9% financing, $1,000 to $3,000 dealer discounts up to $1,500 factory rebates. Bring the whole family to the 6th Annual International Auto Show and Sale, New Orleans Convention Center, February 17th to the 19th. Discount coupons at Schwegman's. Buy a pair, get a spare. Two pairs of designer glasses and an eye exam for just $129 at Vision Plaza. Now you can have a pair for work and a spare for play. 
or for evening. The 129 package includes complete eye exam and two pairs of glasses from Vision Plaza's large selection of designer glasses. So buy a pair, get a spare, and an eye exam for just 129 at Vision Plaza. We keep you looking good. Well, how did our guys at UNO do tonight? Very well, Lynn. In Tulsa tonight, the UNO privateers overcame an eight-point halftime deficit and went on to beat all Roberts, 75 to 66. Willie Richardson, 22. Tony Harris, 20. UNO is now 14 and 9. At Dilla tonight, the Blue Devils in white against Spring Hill. That's Pete Jones, Kansas jumper for Dillett. Spring Hill's Mike McKinney puts up a three-pointer and it goes. With Peter Jones working inside and outside, Dillard went on to win tonight, beating Spring Hill, Spring Hill. We don't have a final, but they won. Meanwhile, a meeting of two of the nation's top ten teams. Big East battle between number four, Georgetown, and gray, number six, Syracuse and Orange. Alonzo Mourning gets two of his 14 points. Derek Coleman hit a game-high 22 for Syracuse, two coming on this dunk. But Morning proved the difference inside as the Hoyas beat Syracuse for the sixth straight time, winning by seven, 61-54. The Pro Bowlers are flocking to town this week, but tonight it was the Celebrity Pro-Am at the Don Carter Lanes, and John Forcade of the Saints shows why he's quarterback and not a professional bowler. Aronet Daniels was rolling him down the lane. Ouch, that's a tough split, Ed. Tulane coach Greg Davis in action. And here's the big daddy, Ironhead Haywood of the Saints. Pretty good roll, Ironhead. And he picked up the spare. Now, TV 6s Richard Angelica reports he rolled a 249 in the second game tonight. The district attorney's office is investigating the claim after seeing this film. 28-year-old Dodie Dyes, one of the most controversial female jockeys this area has known, is on the shelf but still determined she can succeed against any and all comers. Madam One week ago, Dodie broke a leg in the spill at the fairgrounds, the an injury that will probably put her on the shelf for six months. When I decided to ride, that was the biggest thing that bothered me is knowing that I could get hurt or even could get killed. And it, it created quite a dilemma, you know, but I wanted to ride so bad. That I said, I gotta go for it. In the stretch, Jody and her male counterparts haven't always seen eye to eye. Many of the male jockeys claim Our she's reckless and takes too many dangerous Spanish chances. I don't consider myself dangerous. I and know exactly where I'm at all the time. And I know where everybody Bay is around me. The rail. And uh, On the outside, Jean's intent. I've ridden since I was Spanish eight. Vision. I've got a lot of control of my horse, surprise. which uh, I can't say. I've ever really been out of control of a horse in a race. Jody is also running the problems with the Stewarts, being suspended several times for rough riding, and she's currently barred from riding at Jefferson Downs. I've been asked not to ride there, and uh, I think it's very unfair. I've won my commission meeting, and uh, the commission overruled the Stewarts' decisions. I think it's Here's very Cajun unjust. Kissoff. To tell you the truth, I've and ridden a lot of places. This area in Louisiana Cajun is the only Kissoff. place I've ever Cajun had any trouble with male jockeys. Cajun Nowhere Kissoff. else. I think it's a local problem here. Uh, they don't want to accept an outsider, such as me, coming in and doing good. Especially being a female. Dodie received an early Valentine's Day gift today, released from the hospital. More trouble for Oklahoma, the Stooners quarterback Charles Thompson is arrested on the complaint of selling cocaine to an undercover agent. You know, Richie has been practicing bowling, buddy. When we come back, Valentine's Day in Japan, is it cheaper by the dozen? Of all the cars we looked at under $7,500, the Chevy Cavalier was without a doubt the very best value. And when you compare the Chevy Cavalier to the Ford Escort, you will see the Chevy Cavalier is an excellent value. Cavalier has more interior room. Cavalier has a longer wheelbase and fuel tank. And Cavalier seats five, while Escort seats only four. Furthermore, you can now save $1,300 on the Chevy Cavalier, now at your super Chevy dealers. Hatchback Cadillac, four on the floor, I want on a clean Suzanne. 
Firebird, T-Bird, a Honda Accord, a Jeep or a custom van. The times peak of you. Classified. The times peak of you. Classified. If you're buying or selling used cars or trucks, the classified ads can save you bucks. The times peak of you. Classified. Get sold on our great rates. Two lines, ten days, fifteen bucks. You got no when to hold, no when to fold. Great news, country music fans. Now there's a new choice on your radio. It's the new Y96 at exactly 95.7 FM. The new Y96 plays more country favorites, back-to-back -back with fewer interruptions. A better variety of today's country. Artists like Randy Travis, Reba, Alabama, plus the best country classics. So try New Orleans' new choice for country, Y96, continuous country favorites. I'm on the road every day of the week, making over a dozen stops along my route. So I know the value of good grace. I've got a lot of little lives depending on them. And when I'm out on the road with my family, our lives depend on good grace. That's why I depend on my hickey. At Monica, we do breaks, and we do them right. We analyze the whole system, pinpoint the problem, and fix it. Period. No matter why you're on the road, you can depend on breaks from Monica. I do. The Japanese celebrate Valentine's Day in a big, unusual way. Women do the only gift giving. They're expected to give as many as a dozen gifts to all the important men in their lives, whether they love the guys or not. In the swarm of shoppers packed around Valentine's displays at Japanese department stores, you don't spot many male faces. That's because the Valentine custom here is for women to give sweets to men, and not only their sweethearts. Nordiko Yokokawa bought chocolates for a dozen men, but only one was a boyfriend. I'm giving Valentine's gifts as a way of showing appreciation to my bosses at the office where I work. So giving a gift here, even on Valentine's Day, is more often an obligation than an expression of love or affection. But if the Valentine gift-giving custom in Japan is a blow to the Western concept of romance, it does help a number of Western countries in their balance of trade with Japan. Chocolates imported from Europe and the U.S. have grabbed a bigger chunk of the Japanese market in the past four years thanks to the rising yen and lower tariffs. They've made imported chocolate much cheaper. Japan's confection companies aren't about to fold, though. The sweet tooth Japanese consumers have developed for imported chocolates has meant expanded sales for domestic confectioners, too. Japanese chocolate makers are also meeting the new Valentine's Day competition from fruit growers with chocolate-covered strawberries, and the competition from distillers with bottle-shaped, liquor-flavored chocolates. The confectionery industry will enjoy another boost in March when Japanese boys are expected to return their Valentine favors. The occasion is called White Day, and it was dreamed up to promote sales of what else? White chocolate. Brian Jenkins, CNN, Tokyo. I guess you guys like that idea. I like that idea. Listen, if Richard Angelico bowled a 249 after getting one 10 out of 10 on that film we had, I'm going to buy him some chocolates for Valentine's Day. He'll be your Valentine. <laughs> I guarantee you, if, we, if we can... Confirm the claim. Isn't that special? <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Midas brake shoes and tires are guaranteed for as long as you own your car. And that's just part of our $69 brake special. Nobody beats Midas. Nobody. If you don't like the way I look, get a new TV. Save on TVs and everything else till Friday at Silo. From the banks of the Ohio River to the banks of the Mississippi, we'll follow the journey of Archbishop Francis Bible Schulte. Meet the new shepherd Tuesday night at 10.30 p.m. I've had this question before. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh, who is the 34th president? If education is so exciting, why isn't it more fun? Through their academic games program, the New Orleans Public Schools make learning as much fun as other extracurricular activities. Teachers volunteer their after-school hours to coordinate games that develop students' mathematical, language arts, and social studies skills. Nearly 800 teachers and students participate. One more reason why the New Orleans Public Schools deserve your support. New Orleans Public Schools, we're, we're working now for the future. Live coverage of the Archbishop's installation Tuesday, beginning at 2 p.m. Tonight's show, starring Johnny Carson.
Donnie's guest host is Jay Leno. This is Doc Severinsen along with the NBC Orchestra inviting you to join Jay and his guest, Sandy Duncan, comedian Paula Poundstone, and motion picture critic.